This week on The Wire, post-lockdown boom expected. RBA stays firm as ANZ cuts and our Promove won't slow market. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, post-lockdown boom expected. So Australia is tipped to experience an economic boom in the next six months with the end of prolonged lockdowns. Now, ANZ Chief Executive Shane Elliott says this coincides with the lead into Christmas shopping season and people have saved a lot of money during lockdowns as well as reducing their debts. He says, my view is that in the next six months, we're in for a bit of an economic boom. We are entering into a period of freedom, travel and being able to do things. I think people psychologically feel that they have had, they've earned it and they have the right to go and do things. Now, I think we're in for a pretty extraordinary economic time. Now, across the Commonwealth Bank, economist Gareth Ed says Australia is heading for a booming economy, the likes of which we haven't seen for a long time, and the economy will have a cracking year in 2022. National Australia Bank also expects healthy, healthy household balance sheets to underpin a robust economic rebound in 2022 after prolonged periods of disruption. And now, guys, for our next story. RBA stays firm as ANZ cuts. So inflation may be creeping up faster than expected, but the Reserve Bank is holding firm on not lifting interest rates next year. And the RBA's quarterly statement on monetary policy says that while inflation had risen in the September quarter, it still does not plan to lift the official rate until 2024. Now, housing activity is tipped to remain strong as interest rates remain at historical lows and banks cut rates to lower borrowers. Now, ANZ this week offered borrowers deposits of 30 or more percent a 0.43% cut to rates for loans paying principal and interest. Now, investors will be eligible for a 0.33% reduction. Borrowers with a slightly lower deposit of between 20 and 30% are eligible for a 0.23% reduction if they're paying principal and interest. Now, the ANZ announcement puts it in line with what is being offered by other big banks. Rate City Research Director Sally Tyndall says while risky lending is on the rise, it's no surprise to see ANZ follow CBA and Westpac and offer lower rates to ideal borrowers with big deposits. Now for our final story of the week, APRA move won't slow market. So a majority of mortgage brokers believe APRA's lifting of the buffer rate on lending will do little to dampen rising house prices. A survey by mortgage broker platform Hashing reveals 70% of brokers think house prices will continue to rise despite the increased interest rate buffer. Now APRA asked banks to increase the minimum interest rate buffer for home loan serviceability from 2.5% to 3% from November 1. About 73% of brokers believe APRA will need to take further measures in the next six months to slow down borrowing. Hashing Chief Executive Aran Mah Mah Maharaj says the industry is looking for what comes next from the regulator. The survey also found rising property prices hadn't dissuaded first home buyers from trying to get into the market, with 65% of first home buyers interested in a freestanding home rather than a unit. Maharaj says there's a probably a big psychological hurdle here at play, compromising on your ideal after years of saving for a deposit will be tough. Many will choose to just save more and look further afield to get what they want. Well guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot.